What is 800,000 times 360? <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Yo, baby, yo. Oh, yes. Hi, guys. It's the Subaru here, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, guys, um, this is another edition of Brazil. Like, the, I have so many editions that <laughs> I'm seeing it's bigger on white today. Okay. Let me just say this is one freestyle, one of a kind year that will be coming up in the pop of what's the while in Brazil. So, this is um, a movie review. Take it! <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll leave you a movie review once on my channel. I do a book review too once on my channel. So this is like the second review and I am doing this because I like the book. Band? Did I just hear me say band? The Rush in a drama movie which was produced by Jaggi Oshibaru was recently banned by the film sensor board whatever national whatever the name is and um from being um, viewed in any cinema across nigeria and i think um the film is not a bad movie it just it's just as if nigerian government is you know scared like as if the creativity behind this movie unveils so many secrecy about the corruption of nigeria and it just has to be banned and interesting thing is this movie has gained so much momentum and it has become one of the most watched movies and has practically broken the box office seriously it is a million naira movie like millions of naira right now and um the suspension of this movie being viewed across cinemas in nigeria it's gaining so much momentum with the hashtag bring back sugar rush on twitter and uh the director of i don't see whatever <laughs> i really know what <laughs> has currently commented that the movie is has actually passed the viewing period it was given like seriously that's a big lie anyway let's go straight to the trailer of the movie let me ask you those small mathematics <laughs> okay what is 800,000 times 360 <laughs> 280 million. Olua! $800,000. Yes. Come on! Eh? Go there! This is not stealing, right? Stealing? I dare say that what we're doing right now is activism. <laughs> That's it! You know nothing, John Snow. Come and show me the surveillance menu. It says the file is lost. Hey! My village people are find me and come out feast. Don't wear my money. Can you people even see the money? Damn, madam, come on! That money is not your own. I will, the people that own this money, there are plenty go. You spent 150,000 US dollars in three days. Fuck what? Okay, so before I go into the brief background of the story, uh, I'll tell you about the cast. The cast, uh, yeah, are they so I told me Wellington, Big Brother Moye, uh, Big Sola Jayola of Big Brother Nigeria. Those are the Sugar Sisters. Also, it features Banky W, the band, in special appearance. Toby Bakuri, Abdi Latif, and Abdi Latif, that's what you do. Laura Ikeji is special appearance as well and uh, also Yarimbo who happens to be the mother to the Sugar Sisters that's Mrs. Sugar <laughs> okay so um, apparently 
what happened with the movie is that this sugar sister stumbled on this eight hundred thousand dollars in the house of a corrupt politician and you know the, the next few days was like boiling and everything also the film featured the kind of life some social media influencers live that you know all this fake line that was real people the way uh, the way played showing how um, instagram celebrities you know form about their lives and all that so in the next few days of your life was you know boiling and everything you know new rides new house and you know everything just turned around but then this caused ESCC to be on their trail. What, what I love about the movie is that it was not predictable. You wouldn't have told that Omoni Oboni, who happens to be the ESCC boss, was actually involved in trying to like, you know, get the money, the mafias and all, every, everybody's like looking for their stake in the money. Mr. La Jayola, um, one of the sugar sisters who dated Toby Baker, who happens to be a good, and you know, it's so when she gave the money when the yes two was around. So when they had to go to the ES because they do just you know carry the money. So when she got stuff found out and they went to the you know look for him, they said they had to like go on this serious pursuit and it was you know that was quite interesting having to post parties and then the um, Muslim people who were trying to while in posted Toby Bakari had an accident and he died on the spot. <laughs> the funny place was where he hit his face and then you know that kind of slap that revives you from the dead. Mr. <laughs> so like is mad. But then they lost the money because Toby threw the money to someone on the bike and the person went away. But at the end of the story they were able to reveal who actually got the money which I, I was thinking they were not going to like explain who got the money but they did and it happens to be my girlfriend. I mean, I'm the last one in the way to and you know, the guy was like, I don't say it's a good thing, that kind of thing. Anyway, the supernatural part of the movie is what is also interesting, how they got in an invisible car. But yeah, the movie is technically one I did not, you know, think would happen in Nigeria. But so right about now, this movie is what's 152 million naira in box office. Voila. When, like in the last three weeks, the movie has gone into the 100 million movie club. And you guys don't want to miss this movie, it's still very much in the cinema. So go check it out, Sugar Rush. Uh, I remember myself to spray. So follow me on social media as I am on this Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, everywhere, anywhere. And also, don't forget to follow Brown TV as well at Brown TV on Instagram. Okay, so guys, please give this video a thumbs up. I know you will. Thumbs up. Drop your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe if you're here too. I uh, love you guys. Yes. I'll see you guys in another edition of Brown TV. I know there are maroons and baboons behind the same show. But <laughs> no worries, guys. I'll see you in another edition. Have a lovely, lovely day. I'll keep the two of you.